Hello friends, welcome to my channel Botanical Study. In this video, we will discuss about economic importance of lichens. Let us study the economic importance of lichens. The lichens are useful as well as harmful to mankind. The useful activities are much more than harmful ones. They are useful to mankind in various ways as a food and fodder, as a medicine and industrial uses of various kinds. Let us discuss the use of lichen as a food. Lichen are used as a food by human being in many parts of the world. Some species of parmelia are used as a curry powder in India. Endocarpan mini atom is used as a vegetable in Japan. Ivernia for making bread in Egypt and Citraria Icelandica that is Iceland moss as a food in Iceland. Species of Umbelicaria, Parmelia and Leonora are used as a food in different parts of the world. In France, some of the lichens are used in the preparation of chocolates and pastry. Lichens like Laconora and Aspicilia are used as a food by snails, caterpillars, termites, sludge, etc. Second use of lichen as a fodder. Ramalina, Texania, Ramalina, Fastigia lata, Uvernaria, Loberania are used as a fodder for animals due to presence of lichen in a polysaccharide, cellulose, vitamins and certain enzymes. Animals of tundra regions, especially reindeer and muskox, uses cladonia, that is reindeer moss, as a common food. Dried lichens are fed to horses and other animals. Lichens as a medicine. Lichens are medicinally important due to presence of lichenin and some bitter or astringent substances. The lichens are being used as a medicine since pre-Christian time. Lichens have been used as in the treatment of jaundice, diarrhea, fevers, epilepsy, hydrophobia and skin diseases. Citraria and Loberia are used for tuberculosis and other lung diseases. Parmelia for epilepsy, Parmelia perlata for dyspepsia, Cladonia pixidata for whooping cough, Xanthoria parietina for jaundice and several species of Pertusaria, Cladonia and Citraria for the treatment of intermittent fever. Usnic acid, a broad spectrum antibiotic obtained from a species of Usnia and Cladonia are used against various bacterial diseases. Usnia and Ivernia have been used as a astringent in hemorrhage. Some lichens are used as an important ingredient of many antiseptic creams because of having spasmolytic and tumor inhibiting property. Use of lichen in industry. Lichens of various types are used in different types of industry. First, tannin industry. Some lichens like Loberia and Citraria are used in tanning leather. Brewery and distillation. Lichens like Loberia are used in brewing of beer. Usnia, Cladonia and Ramelina are used in the production of alcohol due to rich content of lichen in a carbohydrate. Preparation of dyes. Dyes obtained from some lichens have been used for coloring fabrics, etc. Dyes may be of different colors like brown, red, purple, blue, etc. Brown dye obtained from parmelia is used for dyeing of wool and silk fabrics. Red and purple dye are available in Ocrolechia, Androgyna and Ocrolechia tartaria. The blue dye or kill obtained from Citraria, Icelandica and others is used for dyeing woolen goods. Preparation of dye or sin, the active principal content of orchil dye is used extensively in laboratory during histological studies and for dyeing coir. Litmus and acid base indicator dye is extracted from Rosella tinctoria and Rosella montagni and also from Lasalia. Cosmetics and perfumery. The aromatic compounds available in lichen thallus are extracted and used in the preparation of cosmetic articles and perfumes. Essential oil extracted from species of Ramelina and Ivernia are used in the manufacturing of cosmetic soap. Ramelina calicaris is used to heighten hair of wigs. Species of Usnia have the capacity of retaining scent and are commercially utilized in perfumery. Ivernia prunestri and Sudevernia purpuracy are used widely in perfumes. 
ecological importance of lichen lichens have some ecological importance pioneer of rock vegetations lichens are pioneer colonizer of dry rocks due to their ability to grow with minimum nutrients and water the crustose lichen colonizes with luxuriant growth the lichen secretes some acids and disintegrates the rock after the death of lichen it mixes with the rock particle and form thin layer of soil the soil provides the plant like mosses to grow on it as a first successor but later vascular plants begins to grow in the soil accumulation of radioactive substances lichens are efficient for absorption of different substances the cladonia that is reindeer moss and citravia icelandica that is iceland moss are commonly available lichens in tundra regions the fallout of radioactive strontium and cesium from the atomic research centers are absorbed by the lichens thus lichens can purify the atmosphere from radioactive substances sensitivity to air pollutants lichens are very much sensitive to air pollutants like so2 co co2 etc thereby the number of lichen thallus in the polluted area is gradually reduced and ultimately comes down to nil the crustose lichen can tolerate much more in polluted area than other two types for the above facts the lichens are remarkably absent in cities and industrial areas thus lichens are used as a pollution indicators and lastly harmful activities of lichen some lichens lack like ampiloma and cladonia parasitis on mosses cause total destruction of moss colonies lichen like usnea with its holofast hypi can penetrate deep into the cortex or deeper and destroy the middle lamella and inner content of the cell causing total destruction different lichens mainly crustose type cause serious damage to window glasses and marble stones of old buildings lichens like litharia ulpia that is ulp moss are highly poisonous ulpinic acid is a poisonous substance present in this lichen so this is all about economic importance of lichens Thank you.